simultaneously on New Zealand's next top model. The girls discovered they were heading overseas. But at a shock trans Tasman elimination, we're going to Los Angeles. One girl's dream journey was cut short. Lucy, I'm really sorry. We have to send you back to New Zealand. Six girls remain. Who will be eliminated tonight? Standing at the elimination in Sydney it was really, really stressful. Four girls left, three boarding passes. And so then when they called me out, I was so relieved. And I was so excited, I couldn't believe we were going to LA. You've come such a long way. And you should be so proud of yourself. <laughs> Lucy was devastated, honestly. Who wouldn't want to come to LA? And she really, really wanted to. Coming from Sydney to LA, I was in business class. Cheers. This is for the top set. And it was fun, even though I was sitting next to two people that I don't really care for. California. When we arrived in LA, we were greeted by a limo and all the girls were just like, is that for us? This is my first time overseas and to be in LA. I feel so lucky. Look, there's the Hollywood Hills. I was so excited and looking out the window pretty much the whole way, pointing at different things. And we're staying on Sunset Boulevard, which is another iconic street name, so I'm quite excited about that as well. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> when we first got into the room, you ran to see the view. Oh my god, you can see everything! So cool. Okay, I know that this is really bad. Christabel was trying to make me go see the view, but I went and got the chocolates instead. Okay, now we can look it up. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. Welcome to LA. The California dreaming starts now, but you'd better be prepared to listen. Love, Love Sarah. I'm meet someone. This is so exciting. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> We got dropped off in the middle of LA and we had to go into this building and up to the penthouse level and we realised it was Next Model Management. And we were all like, oh my gosh. Hi girls. Hi. How exciting is this? So exciting. Well, I guess you figured we're at Next Model Management and I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Alexis Borges. He's the director of Next LA. They take care of some pretty famous girls here. Molly Sims, Petra Nemkova, and some local girls from Down Under. Alyssa Sutherland, Catherine McNeil, and Abby Lee. So, if you would like to be one of those girls, let's go see what he's got to say. We are like, oh my gosh, you know, are we dressed properly? Do we look all right? Is he gonna like us? Girls, this is Alexis. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Laura, step forward, please. Do you want to show us your walk? When I first got called, I was like, like, my legs are shaking. Can we try that again and push your shoulders back a bit? Okay. Laura really stuck out for me. You could already introduce her to the high-end designers, have her start on the catwalk and see where we go from there. Thank you. Your posture was much better on the second one. Okay. Victoria. One out of every thousand girls that we see makes it to our board. Can you try doing that one more time? Being sexy, but not overdoing it. The moment they walk in, if they have the height and the right measurements, they know how to present themselves, we can make a decision quite quickly. Hosanna. Hello, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. And what's your height? I'm 5'7". Five 5'7". Seven. Five seven. Well, for next LA, you're a bit on the smaller side. Mm -hmm. We do have a 5'9 requirement. We do have some exceptions. At your height level, it probably wouldn't work out for us. Good luck to you. You have a beautiful face, so you should be able to do fine uh, commercially. Thank you. Alexis gave me some feedback that I cannot do anything about. I was really disappointed about that. Tara Lee. Hi. Do you mind turning around for me? 
Great. I'm gonna have one of my colleagues come out and measure you. The ideal measurements would be 34, 24, 34. It's really what you need in order to work on an international level. 36 and a half. You're gonna have to work on your measurements. And I realize you've had kids and it's a bit difficult, but you're gonna have to work a little harder on that. Yeah, I understand it. Okay, all right, thank you very much. Great meeting you. I'm quite pleased with that because obviously I can lose a couple of inches of weight. I wouldn't be able to grow a couple of inches. How old are you, Ruby? I'm 17. You look like you still have a little bit of baby fat. <laughs> With you, I also would like to get you measured. When I was up there, I was shaking. I was just like, oh my god, oh my god. 37 hips? 37 hips, yeah. Damn. That's, not, that's okay, honey. I knew that my butt would be way too big. <laughs> At 37 hips, you're going to have a hard time fitting the sample sizes. Uh -huh. So we want to bring that to a 34. But you have a beautiful face, and you'll do very well if you bring down your measurements. Thank you very much. Okay. Christabel. Hello. Now, I do want to address the amount of makeup you're wearing. You have a beautiful face, but you're covering it up with all this makeup, which is fine for shoots. When you're seeing a client, though, you have to go in with a clean canvas. Okay. I would like to see you walk, though. Sure. I was a bit embarrassed. I was just trying to, like, look good, you know, but obviously it all went awfully wrong. My advice to the girls would be they have to know that the competition is fierce out there, and they just have to look their very best. Thank you, ladies. I hope you listen to Alexis, because it's not often you get advice from an expert this influential, this early on in your career. Thanks, girls. Today was an amazing experience, but because Alexis didn't ask me what my height was, I felt like he really wasn't interested in me. I was a little bit upset, but he never said that I couldn't be a high couture fashion model. I mean, you've got Kate Moss, who is short. Hosanna likes comparing herself to top models like Kate Moss. I think she's kind of in a different league, and when Hosanna realises that, that might be a good thing. You're having a nice meal. Okay. Yeah. Alexis at Next told me to lose some inches, so this morning I had some wedges, oh my God. because wedges are less fattening than shoestring pipes. I was trying to make the healthy, unhealthy choice. That's better than, like, not eating. Oh yeah, totally. You, never, you shouldn't deprive yourself of food if you're hungry. Yeah. Models love to shop, but a good model shops wisely and always looks the part. <gasps> love, Sarah! <laughs> Maybe it's like the max challenge, you yeah. get limited yeah. time, have to look great. Speed shopping. When we got to Sarah Mel, you know, I was concerned because shopping in a city that you've never been to with shops you don't know, it's stressful. And what if you get lost? We can't ring someone and we don't know where we live. Sunset Boulevard. Is that where we live? Yes. Turley and Hosanna had a bit of a moment. Oh, well, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, you should if you're in a city you don't know. And they were just feeding off each other. It was like, blah, 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 blah. As it always is. Hi, ladies. We followed you all the way to LA because somebody needs to keep an eye on you. <laughs> So you had a meeting with Alexis from Next, who gave you a real insight into the world of modelling here in LA. And Modelling Girls is all about the way you present yourselves. So we're giving you 75 American dollars and 30 minutes to put a complete look together. Wow. Okay. Okay. A look that says successful international model. Today's challenge is going to be awesome. I can't wait to be able to go wild. Go! <laughs> when Chris said go, we all sort of swamped Colin and just grabbed all the money and we're just out of there. I'm feeling quite nervous about the shopping challenge today. We have $75 and 30 minutes. It's just that I don't know how much things cost in America. What I'm going to do is just go into like a few shops, which look kind of cheap, you know? $15, oh my God, sweet. It was crazy. I couldn't think straight and I had no idea what to do. What am I going to get? Oh my god. As soon as I entered the door, no one was there. Hello? I was not happy. I was like running so fast on my heels. I ran straight down to the gift shop. Could you just give me like a discount, do you think? Like this might be the richer part of town, so there might not be any like warehouse or number one shows or anything like that. I might end up with Jandor. Ideally, I'd love to buy a pair of jeans and a nice top and a pair of heels, but I don't think the budget is going to stretch that far. So. I've only got like 15 minutes. I don't have time for this. 
Half my time had gone and I still hadn't bought anything. For some reason, it took forever. I'm really pleased about these shoes because I love them. Okay, I'll get this, definitely. Nope. <laughs> I do think that some of the other girls would be wasting their time waiting for dressing rooms and I wasn't going to do that. So I just got changed in the middle of the store. I actually really like my outfit that I got. I'm so convinced. It's something I would actually wear. Yes. I couldn't believe how long it took me to put my shoes on. The harder I tried, the longer it took. Right. 22 minutes, 10 seconds, Laura. Oh my gosh, well I've got more time. Oh, please, please, please. I can't get my boots and shoes taking off the dress. Well, what can we do, we can do, okay. Right now, 75. When I left the guest store, I was on such a high. I got a whole guest outfit for $75. When I went up to pay for my pants, which is like, you have to take the tag off it. And it's like, no, you don't. So sorry. No, I cannot and I will not take these pants off. It's all right if you hurt me. Run! <laughs> Look at it go. You just made it. 29, 25. Oh, when I saw all the other girls in their outfits, I was just like, oh my god, because I realised I was meant to be in mine as well. Quick, quick, down, 10 seconds. <laughs> I got changed in the middle of the street. It was really embarrassing. That's time. And you haven't put your top on. No. <laughs> Hold on, Victoria. Oh, like, yeah. When I ran back and saw Chris and Colin, I noticed all of the other models were there, and I was like, oh, no. Darling, you're too late. No. Oh. I was so gutted. Some of you have definitely done better than others. Hosanna? Well, I like the look. I like the pants. I like the fact that there's a sophistication and a uniformity in your look. Thank you. I really like what I got. So, yeah, I think I did probably the best. I think Terry Lee did the worst. It just wasn't flattering on her. I just think for what you've got on, I don't think it's the best shape for your body. Out of all of this, I mean, my confidence got crushed and I got a really crappy dress, but it was guess. Like, hello. I got it all for like $75, so that must say something. No, 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 no. If it's wrong, it's wrong. I think she looked like a sausage in her outfit. <laughs> it was so bad. Now, Victoria, you were laid back. I know. <laughs> And we've got a little bit of punishment for you, actually. You have to go into the fish tank behind the reception in the hotel for three hours. No! Don't make me do that! The fish tank is like this big glass box behind the reception where somebody sits and just does nothing. It's almost like it's from some sort of strip club and it's going to be so funny to see Victoria in there. And because you weren't ready and you are in the wrong outfit, you two are in there with her. <laughs> Enjoy three hours. Back to the hotel. See you soon. Oh my God. Oh my God. The tank for me was not a punishment. Secretly inside, I was like, yeah, I actually wouldn't mind doing that. She seems to be loving it. Yeah, she is loving it. It's a punishment, <laughs> not a challenge. <laughs> It is skanky getting in that fish tank and people staring at you and Victoria like completely got into it and loved it. <laughs> you guys are embarrassing yourself. So Terry, do you think you ever wear that dress again? Yeah, of course. No, it got me in a fish tank. <laughs> 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 Keep it breezy, make it beautiful. Which one of you has the makings of a true cover girl? Oh, well, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. I'm so excited about today's cover girl challenge. I mean, we've done photo shoots, we've done music videos, but to do a commercial, over the moon. Hi ladies. Hi. Welcome to your first ever TV commercial shoot. Excited? Yes. And you will really need to bring it because remember, New Zealand's next top model has a one year contract with CoverGirl. <laughs> You remember Chris Kennedy Grant from the Makeup Challenge? Today we're going to make an ad for CoverGirl True Blend Liquid Makeup. CoverGirl True Blend does more than match. It actually merges with your skin tone to create a natural, makeup-free look. So you're going to be working with the most amazing commercial director, Michael Mahale. You ready to get started? Yes! Today's challenge should be really fun. It's a wee bit frightening. But I just want to get into it. So you've got 10 minutes to learn the script. Relax, enjoy it. I just want that really beautiful, natural delivery, OK? There's a whole lot more pressure with the CoverGirl representative here. She'll be watching us, so that makes it way scarier. Action! CoverGirl's true blend has just been reinvented so that... Oh, sorry, that's wrong. <laughs> she looks so nervous. The big thing for CoverGirl is personality. It's being about beautiful on the inside and out. It's easy and breezy, like Lowe says. 
CoverGirl's just reinvented True Blend with a new makeup formula so sophisticated it won't show. It's got the lines, it looks beautiful. I'm impressed because I was able to learn the lines and deliver them in two takes. So I would like to think that Chris can see a CoverGirl on me. Action. If your makeup's showing, guess what? True CoverGirl has a new True Blend for makeup. Okay, cut. You need to relax. I am dyslexic and that's my fault in that. But having said that, Tom Cruise is really bad at dyslexic, so I'm not going to let it hold me back. Covergirl just reinvented a new formula. When she wasn't getting it, it got worse and worse and worse. But in advertising, time is money. They don't have the time to wait on a model. Covergirl. True, <laughs> true blend. By easy, breezy, beautiful Covergirl. Okay, great. All right, cut. I want to go again. Take one. Is your makeup showing? Okay. You're really trying to sell this product. You have to smile and flirt like that. You need to do that. It was hard, like, trying to be flirty. How am I meant to flirt with the camera? Take three. Is your makeup showing? Guess what? Those go back to one. Let's cut. You're going like this. Okay. You're not telling your kids off. <laughs> Terrily had the lines, but she also had the most takes today. Take five, take eight, take eleven. She was just smile. Easy, breezy, beautiful, have a girl. <laughs> you can't just say easy, breezy, beautiful, cover girl. And then turn the smile on. Tara Lee was definitely not easy breezy. She was stressed. She was like a robot. I was really excited to do a cover girl commercial, but I'm quite nervous about remembering my lines. Take one. Action. Is your makeup showing? Guess what? Those days are over. Covergirl just reinvented True Blend with a new makeup formula so sophisticated it won't show. They actually were all really good with their lines. I think nerves kind of affected them all, but I was actually really impressed. New formula True Blend from easy, breezy, beautiful Covergirl. That was 98% perfect. Remember to stay flirty. Oh yeah, okay. All right. Christabel just had the attitude. She took direction really well and she just owned it. She owned the stage. Take two. New formula True Blend from Easy Breezy Beautiful Cover Girl. Big smile. Perfect. That was great. That was absolutely flawless. Yay! Pose, pose, pose. I was told by Alexis that I am more commercial, so I think I do have what it takes to be a cover girl. Cover girl have just reinvented True Blend with a makeup formula so sophisticated, your makeup will never show, even up close. With your eyes, you do this flick open, which looks like you're just about to murder someone. <laughs> Hosanna was a little bit scary. The poses were all so extreme. There was the Hosanna stare, the Hosanna I'm seductive, the Hosanna claw, the Hosanna smile. I thought, oh my god, it was Covergirl meets Piranha. Psst. Is your makeup showing? Guess what? Those days are over. She looks amazing. Ruby was phenomenal. There was a real attraction to her. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. You got it. I didn't find it intimidating with the judges and the lights and all the cameras there. I was just having fun and being myself. Give me a little turn. Beautiful, gorgeous. On camera, she had this glow. The camera really loves that girl. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Big smile. <laughs> Great. Overall, I was really impressed with all the girls. The difference was who was natural, who was relaxed, and who wasn't. Congratulations, ladies. Thanks. We do have a prize for this challenge. A personalised, exclusive tour by night of Los Angeles in a stretch Hummer limo. Oh, wow. oh my God. And the winner is Christabel. Oh. Congratulations. You get to select two friends to take with you. I'll take Curly and Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> I was totally disappointed that I didn't win. I mean, I don't know what Christabel did differently, but what ifs. Oh my gosh! <laughs> my whole biggest dream is like to go in a stretch hammer limo. Like, what the hell? I never actually thought like it looked like this. It's a spacey stretch hummerzine. Like, going from where I live in Otara to Hollywood. Come on, man. Oh my god, it's oh my like god. a disco party! Woohoo! We were 
so excited and she went crazy. It was so cool, the like strobe lighting and it was all different colours. I want to go and see the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I really wanted to go to the Walk of Fame. I just wanted photos of my favourite stars. Awesome! Yes, I'm stoked about that. I've always wanted to do that. Oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs>
You can see that she has all this potential, but she's not letting it go. And if you want to be in this competition and you want to succeed, you've got to show me passion too. Finally, at the very end, you showed me something different. Let's hope it is enough for you. I know I have what it takes to give Nigel a good shot. It's just whether I'm there yet. I've really got to up my game, so it's going to be hard. Beautiful. I love the emotion. Keep that. Beautiful. Victoria worked very hard on my set. Absolutely stunning. Keep it there. She was one of the first girls to truly use all elements of it. Lean up against the post, get on the ground, really work the set. And I felt inspired. Gorgeous. I'm loving this. Even when he didn't have the camera up to me, I was still thinking about my next move, sort of practicing it. I honestly think I nailed it in the way that I wanted to. Honey, we got it. We're good. And I was just so surprised when you picked me up and swung me around. It was pretty cool. Oh, thank you. We got it. I'm extremely nervous to be, you know, photographed by one of the world's greatest photographers. I hope that I can bring what he wants and listen to him. You're going into crazy shapes again. I thought Hosanna just felt a bit. She was moving in and out of frame. Her movements were big. She just wasn't in control. Well, keep working it, keep working it. That could have been a fantastic moment. Water everywhere. Incredible picture. What do I got? You going like this. Ah! Looking crazy. Hosanna's style of modeling leaves a little to be desired. She's a little extreme in her movements, and it's as if she thinks that sort of clowning around is actually modeling. Let me show you what you're doing. You're gonna be me for a minute. Extreme movements and radical poses, you know, may be cool for some kind of art photography, but generally speaking for fashion, look absurd. I thought she was wretched. <laughs> so Hosanna, you got another 20 frames to get what you need. It was a lot of pressure because at that point I didn't feel like I'd stepped up. That's it, work it, come on, move. I think that some of the girls felt that I was being a little tough on them. But you know what? I'm always tough. You have to be if you want to be on top. That's better. Way better. There, beautiful there. Finally, I've broken you. And I was really pushing them because I wanted to make sure they got a great shot. Honey, we got it. It was a little bit of a battle. I'm so sorry. I thought that Nigel was going to be just really intimidating and it was going to be really scary. Then when I got down to the shoot, he was so down to earth and so cool and funny. Love that. Christabel, for me, was the girl that truly understood the concept. She's also a great mover. She took risks. She had fun with it. Gorgeous. Love that. She did all the right things. She was exciting to shoot. I'd want to shoot her again. I feel like we've got the shot, and we're now, like, we're finding the magic at this point. Yeah. Beautiful like that. I was quite surprised at Nigel's really positive feedback because it felt too easy to get a really good shot, but hopefully there will be a good one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That, sweetie, is that. You did a great job. I've worked on America's Next Top Model now for 12 cycles. And I've also worked on Top Model around the world. And I've got to say, very happily, that New Zealand ranks right up there at the top. Your girls are beautiful. And you know what? They were listening too. And they were excited to be here. That way, New Zealand. It's time for you to meet with the judges. Only five of you will go on in the hope of becoming New Zealand's next it's top model. Love, Sarah. I so hope Nigel is our guest judge. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I really hope that Nigel Barker is our guest judge today. I just want to know his opinions about everything. I want to know what he thinks about me, good or bad. So do you have any idea who's going to be going home? I reckon Lizana might be. She just bought him too last week. Mm, mm. And I don't think she did too well in the Cup Girl Challenge. I don't know. I think it could be Victoria because she did really badly in the Cup Girl Challenge. I don't want to go home today. I wouldn't understand it if either of us went home now. It just doesn't seem like we're doing the worst. I don't know, you never really know. They always surprise us. I know. Always. Hi girls. Hi. We've had an amazing time here in Los Angeles, but for one of you, the California dream ends here today. Only five of you will go on in the hopes of becoming New Zealand's next top model. 
and you will stand to gain an eight-page editorial with Clio magazine, representation with my agency, 62 Models, a one-year contract with CoverGirl, a trip to Sydney to meet with Chic Model Management, and a trip to New York, where you will meet with Next Model Management. Helping me decide will be Mr. Chris Sisarich, style guru Colin Mathura Jeffrey, and this week our special guest judge is world renowned photographer Mr. Nigel Barker. Hi, ladies. Hi. It's time for your individual evaluations. Christabel. Hi. You won the CoverGirl commercial. Yeah, I found it a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. I think you did really well. We were really impressed. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's have a look at that photo. Ooh. Christabel, you are a pleasure to shoot. I've got to say, you moved all over the set and you gave me a beautiful profile. And you know what? It could be a campaign this picture in my eyes. Thank you so, so well much. Done. You do have to concentrate on using your limbs though. Your arms and your legs often look a little disjointed. Practice that and you can be picture perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. You look stunning. You were working your outfit. You did a great job. That photo is just Davoon. I'm inventing a new word for you. It's Davoon. Yeah. It's like a mixture between divine and baboon. <laughs> well, enough of this fashion monkey business. But you on the CoverGirl commercial, you just exploded into this magnificent CoverGirl model. Easy breezy. You made it look easy. Well, at this end of the competition, we want to see models get better and better. And every week, Christabel, you're getting better and better. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Hosanna. Hi. How was your week? My week was pretty good. Maybe a little bit worried about the photo shoot though. Should we have a look at your photo? As you can see, Hosanna, you have a beautiful picture. It's stunning. But you know what it is? It's your very last frame. The, all the rest of your film up until then is a total mishmash. Yeah. And some of it actually looks borderline crazy. I give you 10 out of 10 for enthusiasm, but you need to have more of these. Hazani, you looked quite upset when you saw that shot, and that's a great shot. Thank you, so just don't think that... You think you should have a better picture than that? <laughs> to work with one of the top photographers and just have the worst day. Like, I just feel, I just feel so ashamed and embarrassed. There's nothing wrong with being disappointed because it means you want to do better, and that's a good thing. So at the moment, while you're learning, Try practicing all the classy, beautiful, graceful moves that you see in the magazines, and that's a good place to start, okay? In the CoverGirl commercial, when you walked, you were beautiful. It was probably the best walk I've seen you do. You look beautiful on film. When you did your lines, you looked like a velociraptor about to attack. <laughs> you were frightening. <laughs> Hosanna, you're our champion practicer. You can get it right, just keep up the practice. Thank you. Laura. Great week in LA. Yeah, I absolutely love it. It's been heaps of fun. I can't wait to see your photo. Let's have a look. You as well have a beautiful picture. You have movement down to a fine art. You worked the pillars behind you. You were all over the sand. You moved around and you stayed in your light all at the same time. However, your face was the weak part. It was just your eyes. Unless you have the passion, you don't have a classic shot. Cool, thank you. You're like a goddess. And the CoverGirl commercial was interesting for me because, again, it's about the face, and you delivered beautifully, but then your face would frown and your eyes weren't connecting. Other than that, you were top three. Cool, thank you. Laurie, you are the poster girl to inspire every other girl next door around New Zealand that she too just might be able to look like that. Well done. Thanks, everybody. Ruby, Alexis Borges gave you a little bit of a hard time with the tape measure. How'd that feel? I didn't feel bad about it. I feel like it's something I can work towards at least. Good on you. Shall we have a look at how you went under the pier? You were good. You moved with the garment very nicely. You tried very hard. I think your issue is understanding your body shape. Every model has to understand their sort of best attributes and the things that perhaps they don't like about themselves. Whether it's the width of your butt or whether it's the shape of your nose. Listen, it's those imperfections that make you beautiful. 
If everything is perfect, boring. Thank you. What everyone here has missed is what I saw, which was the CoverGirl commercial shoot where you really came alive on film. I would buy anything that you would sell. You are a commercial model. Thank you. Tara Lee. Hello. Hi. Are we going to love your shot under the pier? I hope so. I hope so. Let's have a look. This happens to be one of the most beautiful pictures as well. OK, thank you. Well, guess what? I think you should actually thank me because I pretty much orchestrated this picture. I know. And it's almost that sad, morose look that works in this picture, but you did the same thing over and over and over and over again. And I found it very difficult. And that's why we were asking you to do extreme things, like scream, but you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't commit to it. I just find it hard coming across as vulnerable, so I don't really like showing those kind of emotions, but it's something I'm working on and it's fine. You know how insulting it would be, and it was, if a photographer or a client says, I want this from you, I want you to scream. You go, ah, and then look foolish afterwards. And you don't even really commit to the scream. As a photographer, I'd book you. If you were like this on, for me, on a regular job, I'd just never book you again. What's more, I'd probably complain to the agency that it's misrepresentation. I didn't mean to offend you, I'm sorry. I'm not offended, I'm here to teach you. And this is your opportunity to learn from us. Okay. And you know, I'm not being cruel. I really mean it that when you let your guard down, you are so beautiful. You need to be the muse. You need to inspire everyone. And you love what you're doing, but you don't show it to us. We just want you to show it. I know you have it, Tara Lee. You're not even showing it now, but I know it's in there. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> tickle, tickle. Slap. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tara Lee. Thank you for your time. Victoria. Hey. Hi. Victoria, last time we saw you photographed in water, it was in Queenstown, and I loved that shot. I can't wait to see this one. Let's have a look. I think this is a beautiful photograph, but for me, still my favourite is Queenstown. You know, you should see this photo. Her eyes just explode. Let's get something clear here. Somebody else's <laughs> picture is better than mine. <laughs> this is an amazing photo. I see uh -huh. myself in it. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's Nigerific. <laughs> what I liked that day was the way that you came to sit. You were really, really positive, and you tried hard, you know? That was great. You also, though, have problems with connecting your head to your legs, to your body, to the whole thing looking good at once. You, have, you had a lot of shots where the head looked fantastic, but then the body was a little twisted. You had some of the most beautiful eyes I've photographed in a long time, not just on this competition. Thank you. Just make the rest of it work with them. Thanks, Victoria. Thank you. Girls, it's time for us to deliberate. Our time here in LA is almost over. And for one of you, so is your top model journey. Six girls, we can only take five. Tara Lee. She has a really pretty face, but she just does not inspire. You can see in the photograph that she's capable of great moments, but she's not delivering them, we're finding them. She had some great moments in the commercial, and she did have her lines. She's argumentative too, though. That's the kind of thing that's gonna send you home, and it's about being bookable and being charming as well, so they can actually get that charm in the picture. But there's no charm, there's just a gorgeous face, and you need the charm to be a top model. Christabel, this is working for me on every level. She was my favourite. She really moved. It was really fun to watch her being shot. It's funny because this picture of Christabel is probably one of my favourites as well. But she, for me, isn't actually the prettiest girl in the bunch. But you do not need to be the prettiest one. You need to be the most interesting one. You need to be the one that knows how to work it. And she did. She understood the garment. She understood her body. She didn't always connect it together perfectly, but she learned quickly and she moved and she changed and she morphed. It was really exciting and I was out of breath. That is a beautiful photo. I have to say this shot is my favorite shot of the competition to date. Well, thank you very much. Hosanna, her nerves have got the better of her. Hosanna, my goodness, what a mess. She's a really nice girl, but when she started modeling, I think I said, she was wretched. You did. And then some of those things that she sort of came out with were so bizarre. You know, I just didn't know what was going on. I'm like, am I really seeing this? You saw her at her worst because she's grown immensely through this competition and she works so hard. And that ethic is vital in a good model. She's here to win. Well, the clock is ticking. Um. Loudly. Ruby. I think you got a great picture of Ruby, and I really love the way she's working her dress, but I was a little bit disappointed with her on the day. She's very unintouched with, with her face and her features and her body. I guess 
she thinks she has weight issues. Well, they wrapped a tape measure around her butt and told her she had too much going on. Well, I'm afraid the fashion industry does have sizes. She's neither a plus size model nor a sort of skinny rake model. That being said, I, you know, she's not so overweight that one couldn't easily tone up. She's a nice girl. She's funny. She can fit in the team. The problem is, do the sum of the parts, you know, equal the total? I don't know. Laura. This photo gives me shivers. I love it. She moves really well. She just needs to be pushed a little bit harder to get more emotive response out of there. And I have seen it. She's a great mover, there's no doubt about it. I mean, when you look at this picture and you look at the, the piercing look in her eyes, and she managed to get that moment there. But it took the very end. This is one of her last 10 shots. For me, you'd like to see this look and this kind of passion right from the beginning. The thing I love about Laura, you said she needs to be pushed harder. Mm. She wants to be pushed harder and she wants to grow. I like that. Victoria, bone structure, beautiful. She is a gorgeous girl. She has such striking eyes, and to photograph her, it's a pleasure. The biggest problem is, of course, is that her head is not connected with her body. So she was a bit like a sort of human pretzel, you know? Great face, and then the body was all twisted up. The cover girl shoot surprised me. I thought she was gonna shine. She should be able to deliver a, a line to camera, and she really flunked it. I know, but you know what? It's this kind of face that can work on an international level. She needs to realize that. She just doesn't have the confidence in herself that we have in her. Five girls coming back to the model house. Someone is going home. Six girls and five photos. Five of you will be going back to the model house in New Zealand. For one of you, your top model dream ends here in Los Angeles. The first name I'm going to call is Christabel. Thank you so much, sir. Congratulations, you had a great week. Thank you. The next name I'm going to call is Laura. Thank you so much. Nigel Barker said you were great to shoot with. High praise from a famous photographer. Very, thank you. Congratulations. Victoria, you're still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model. Thank you so much. Thank you. Three girls left, two photos. The next name I'm going to call is Ruby. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Tara Lee, Hosanna, please step forward. Bottom two. You're both very different models. Tara Lee, you have height, you have extraordinary bone structure but you lack the warmth that we know is in there that you just won't give us. Hosanna, what you lack in height, you make up with a beautiful face and a work ethic that blows us all away. But is effort enough to make a top model? The last girl still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model and coming back to the model house with us is Hosanna. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hosanna, you worked so hard. You didn't have a great week, but you got a great shot. Just keep up that practice because you show people how if you try hard and you want something, just sometimes you might get it. I'll see you in Auckland. Tara Lee, you are such a beautiful girl and I'm starting to see that smile more and more. And I hope that you've gained something from your journey here. I have, yeah. Because you look like you might have to me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, Nigel.
I'm very pleased to be going home. I'm going to get to see my children and I miss them and I'm grateful for the whole experience, don't get me wrong. I've learned a lot about modelling, obviously, and it's not my problem that the judges pick Susanna. like, they're going to have to deal with her. I know she'll be going home next week anyway. I'm sad that I haven't grown as much as maybe I'm capable of, but I'm proud of the progress that I have made and how much I have grown. But now I'm learning to accept other people for who they are, which is something I've always wanted to do. And I'm just grateful for everything and everyone who's been around. It's been great. Coming up, it's out of the LA frying pan. We're completely jet lagged from LA. And into the fashion fire. She had too much makeup on. I don't think I like her very much. We're a race to impress New Zealand's top designers. Come and get me now. You've got the look. See some crash and burn. Oh, oh dear. You probably wouldn't get booked again for doing that. Go to tv3.co.nz for all things top model, photo shoots, inside gossip and the lowdown on all the show's highlights. Who will be New Zealand's next top model? Beautiful.